A few years ago, Melissa Hennon snapped a shot of a lacy sock and tossed that photo online. Well, that sock helped launch a business, one that's doing millions of dollars in sales. Rick and Melissa Hennon were excited to start a family. In 2010, when Melissa was five months pregnant, she was ordered on bed rest until the baby was born. To pass the time, she started sewing and knitting. They were heartbroken when Melissa lost the baby two weeks later. But Rick and Melissa decided to channel that pain into something good. They launched their company, Grace and Lace, by making and selling lace socks online. After appearing on ABC's Shark Tank in 2013, they hit $1 million in five days. Please welcome to the show the founders of Grace and Lace, Rick and Melissa Hennant. And it's so good to have you both here. Thank you so we much. We are so Great honored. To be here. You know, there, there is a theme, it seems, running through our program today of children who have, for one reason or another, uh, been lost, mm -hmm. been um, in terrible situations. You as parents were in a terrible situation mm -hmm. with your first child. Mm -hmm. Lost it, I say lost, but didn't survive. It, was it five months when she was born? Yeah, she was born, um, yep, about halfway through my pregnancy. Wow. I mean, I, that is just so hard to even imagine the heartache of that. Yeah. Out of that, though, it, where, where you were in the hospital on that bed rest before mm -hmm. you actually delivered, you started yes. doing something that, had you ever done it before, the knitting <laughs> and the... No, I had learned to sew as a little girl, and when I was confined to the bed rest in the hospital, um, they told me I have to lay on my back for potentially four months. Good so I could grief. only work with my hands, and so I picked up sewing again and knitting and crocheting, and that's really where my love for knits grew wow. on the hospital bed. Rick, you've always been a, a bit of an entrepreneur at heart. Yes, I mean, you always knew you wanted to do that, didn't you? Well, I've started businesses from seventh grade on, wow. and uh, just been something that I naturally, naturally gravitated to and loved. So here you are in this difficult scenario, mm -hmm. and then the baby that you so believed was going to make it mm -hmm. because of your four months of sacrificially lying still, you lose mm -hmm. and you're left with the heartache of it. How did you yeah. take that heartache and move forward? Yeah, there's really two decisions one can make. And as believers that prayed with everything that we had, that had a yeah. ton of people praying for us, we could have made a decision to be mad, bitter, yes. upset, ask God why, why didn't you answer our prayers? Or we could choose to trust in him through the pain and I told Melissa about an hour after our loss that we were gonna make the decision to trust God. Mm -hmm. um, and if we, if we got an answer of why it happened, great, but if we didn't, yeah. no big deal. You know, the Bible says that God gives us beauty for ashes yes. and the oil of joy for mourning, but you kind of have to make a decision yes. in the midst of that that you're not gonna stay there, that exactly. you're gonna let God move you exactly. forward. Right. So you you throw up online a picture of, <laughs> a, this is kind of a form of it, but of a sock mm -hmm. that actually sticks out of the top of boots, boots. Yeah. right? Yeah, you know, it was on that time during bed rest where I, like, I developed that love for creating. And one day I just wanted to make a pair of socks that had lace on the top of them that stick on the top of my boots. And I did for myself. And everywhere I went, people would stop me and ask me where I got them. So mm -hmm. Rick suggested I stick them up online and I did. And they sold instantly. And within a matter of three days, we had sold over 500 pairs of socks. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I just say, flying fingers. Right. No, and that was the funny thing like because he's, he was like, I was like, how am I going to make all these? It took me five hours to make one pair. So before we knew it, uh, we had trained a bunch of others to sew them and to make them. And before we knew it, we, my accidental company, Grace and Lace, was born. So Shark Tank, Rick, mm -hmm. tell me about that because that was a dream in your heart yes. as well. Yeah, we had been huge fans from the very first episode. And I even mentioned to Melissa early on in season one, wouldn't it be cool if we had a business that was on Shark Tank? And sure enough, this business comes out of our tragedy, uh, an accidental company uh, that we thought, but not accidental in God's eyes. Yes. And I told Melissa in, uh, after having the business for three months, I really feel like we're supposed to be on Shark Tank. And she kind of looked at me and smiled, <laughs> I love you, but you're crazy, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's not going to happen, but you just go ahead and, and Keep you know, fantasizing you, you just <laughs> apply online. And so I did, didn't hear anything. I did about five times over a wow. four month period, didn't hear a thing. And I said, well, maybe this isn't of God. Maybe I missed it because sometimes we sure. miss it. 
And I was on the phone with a good buddy of mine and asked him if he wanted to partner with us. And he said, I do, but I really feel like you're supposed to be on Shark Tank. And Funny I kind of, exactly, <laughs> I kind of laughed and chuckled because we hadn't talked about it. Uh -huh. I said, why did you say that? And he said, well, I've been praying about it and I just feel that's what God has really? for you guys. And he said, I know a producer, let me make a phone call. Come on. And within 15 minutes, we were on the phone with the producers telling them our story. They said, we love it. We have to have you guys. You know, sometimes I think God just wants to let us know this was really my idea, yes, not yours. <laughs> without a question. <laughs> so you wound up partnering and doing business with Barbara. Yes. And I mean, at that point, you must have had vision for this, but were yes. you like stunned that it actually worked out? <laughs> well, it's surreal being on, on that stage. Yeah. It really is. And we had done our legwork before the show and knew and really felt the Lord leading us to partner with her. So mm -hmm. when wow. we did finally get a full offer from her, we knew um, we knew that that was it. Well, let's Let's leap forward <laughs> into the success of your company. You now have, is it more than 400 products? That oh, no, we have about 1,000 SKUs at this really? point. We had probably 25 when we aired on Shark Tank. About 40 employees, yeah. So this is the initiator of the... <laughs> that is, <laughs> yes. Take a look at this. Um, wow. <laughs> these are the, what do you call these? Are they called boot... Those are leg warmers. Leg yep, warmers. Yep, with, with buttons down them. Okay, and then the business the has. This is the boot top. Yeah. But yep. you're actually, are you wearing? I am. I'm wearing these? two of my pieces, actually. Yes. Um, so, you know, I, like I said, I started making this pair of socks with lace on it. And now I've just come to really be able to create what I'm missing in my own closet. And so we create and design all sorts of women's apparel. Wow. Um, yeah, this is my So what do you panel. call this? this um, that's a lace extender. So tops that you feel are maybe a little bit too short and just want a little bit of extra length, just like this one. You uh -huh. just, um, I just awesome. you know, put it under there and it creates, turns any tunic into a, a dress. So you have just exploded mm -hmm. in yeah. this business that you're doing. You're not just hungry for the profit, <laughs> as so many people would be mm -hmm. in a, a business doing well, but you want to make a difference yes. as well. Yes. You have some work going on in India. Tell yes. us about that. You know, um, when I was 18 years old, I went to India and I spent my summer there and I had never seen poverty. I agree. Um, like that. I've been all over the world on mission trips and I left there with a note in my journal that said, I've been so heartbroken. I'm working in an orphanage, seeing a baby with a bottle strapped to its face because there's not enough workers um, mm -hmm. to feed it. And I'm belly so extended um, from malnutrition. And I left with a note in my journal that said, I've got to do something more. Uh, never in a million years would I think the Lord would give us a business yeah. that would be able to fund and support orphanages being built over there. So Grace and Lace has been able to build seven in our last five wow. years. Talk um, about coming full circle. Yes, huh? yeah. We've been able to rescue hundreds yeah. of orphans off the street. What a, what a plan God yeah. has Absolutely. in all things, and who can ever understand it yes. <laughs> yes. completely? Yes. But mm -hmm. what an amazing story you have and what an amazing journey you're on. It's so exciting to see where you're going with all of mm -hmm. this and how God has truly given you the desires yes, of your heart yep. and fulfilled his own promises. Well, we want to thank you for being on the program with us today. Thank you for what you're doing. If you're interested you. in what Grace and Lace has to offer, both in product and also their involvement in India, just go to CBN.com. We'll tell you how you can see more about their product line. God bless All you. Right. Thank, Thank you, you, Terry.